All right, as you know, you've been, I've been teaching you to keep the mind in one body. It's under the umbrella of called cosmic healing world nourishing life. Okay, there, there is a few according to the syllabus that are designed. There's a few few uh, patterns that, that you need to learn. Okay, uh, the first thing one need to know first of all is what kind of uh, Meditation we're learning. This is what you're learning, the Taoists. Okay? First one is Taoists. Okay? Okay. Taoists, what it does is Qigong concent concentrates on the self internal relaxation. Okay? And steady, gentle training movements with posture moving from soft to to hard, okay. So when we say soft to hard, we talk about neigong, okay. So that's mean internally to ex exteriorly, okay. Yeah, ex to externally. There's two kinds, remember, of in between the neigong and the huai gong, okay. So neigong is inside to outside. Then Wai Gong is outside to inside. Wai Gong, a uh, good example is the Shaolin Ji Gong. Okay? So we use hard to soft. Why we use hard? Because we want an example of the iron shirt training. Okay? So where we develop energy from the throat all the way to our testicle. So all this get targeted. So this is from one, then a two. Okay? Two, three, then four. So we talk and then five is your testicle. So then we use this energy to shield the whole body. Okay, so it's like we use white one. And white one the side is we use a bit more on the force tool or the force of chicken. So we what we do is we, we take it from the lower tension but we we push it more from the lung, the pectoral chi, the lung chi, and the dive. My lung is that we want it quick, quicker. Okay, but but there is there is a slight problem. Okay, in that we found in the olden days that by training that way, the Shaolin Qigong. In those days, then we found that the master dies at a young age because it's too forceful. Right, become too forceful because why they had to do it quick? Because remember. During those days, from village to village, they had to, to be, each one has own style, and one wanted to conquer village to village, clan to clan, so that's how it was going about, okay? So that's why from the Shaolin point of view then, we say, once we understand the, the external Kung Fu, then we need to go to the internal, that we go Tai Chi, Xin Yu, Bagua, okay? So then we're going to Taoist Qigong come more, more. Okay, that, that doesn't say that they didn't have Taoist Qigong in those days, but just that on the fighting skill, uh, then the Shaolin practitioner has to use more on the Wai Gong instead of Nei Gong. Okay? Yeah. That's, that's what we are doing here. And then you have the Buddhist also, okay? Buddhist Qigong. The Buddhist Qigong is strong, active, <coughs> dynamic, and external in movement with postures. That's what I've said now, the Shaolin. Okay, from hot to soft, but they call it the, in the old days the Buddhist Qigong. But remember, Shaolin come from Shaolin Temple, which all monk was Buddhist. Okay? Yeah. But however, the aim is to achieve an equal balance of yin and yang and empty of the mind. That's also the, because it, they were training in the most, most Shaolin monk in those days are Buddhist monk. Okay? So they, they were learning how to conquer the mind at the same time because there was, there was what we call that religious monk, uh, if I may put it that way, and then there were warrior monk. That will will protect the Shaolin Temple. So then that's where it becomes. 
So the why long group will put more emphasis on the why long group. Okay? And then you have confusion, okay? Confusion. Confusion is Qigong is quite rare, okay? And the methods are rather basic and simple, right? It's more about uh, the Qigong is more about more mind, more strategy. Remember about con Confucius, okay? It's more about uh, how we strategy for life, okay? Also teach about being being uh, humble, have humility, okay? Then we have medical chico, okay? Right, medical. Okay, medical is involved with theory rather than practice. Okay. It concerns the acupuncture points and channels and meridian. Yes, we, it's not about just uh, we, we medical chicken. We need to know the theory only. On the point of medical chicken, also is when someone become a medical chicken practitioner is it's not by you learn to self heal yourself through the chicken movement. No, then we will use certain movement, okay, uh, which in the order they call it mudras, okay? So we can use certain movement like this, certain movement like that, okay? Yeah, certain movement like that, yeah, okay? Uh, whether we will do clockwise, whether we will do it circular, whether we will do it this way, we will do it that way, that we, we use on that patient comes to you, they don't want acupuncture, okay? Then we use our own chi inductions through the patients. That's what medical chi is about, okay? That's primarily. But there is also medical chi where you can self heal yourself, okay? The medical chi that 100% that that's, that we, uh, that is based on medi medical chi is is Da Yang, the wild, the wild goose chicken. Okay? Yeah. That was uh, uh, founded by that old, she's dead now, I think she lived up to 100 and, I can't remember, 103 or 106 years old when he died. She died. Okay? So, so, so that's one, one other point. Okay, some people also will refer about, they'll talk about martial arts chikung. But martial arts chikung will be based on, on all those. And you do Yong Zhen, is martial arts chikung. You do Tai Chi Zhen, martial You do Shaolin, martial arts chikung. Whatever style of martial you do, also there's some form of chikung. But it's not in depth. Yeah. It's like, I'll teach Tai Chi Zhen, is a form of chikung. Okay? Remember that. So Tai Chi allows you to do what? That's the Qi? To sink the Qi. Okay? So when we do Tai Chi so then it, it teaches how to sink the Qi. So that because remember, we sink the whole part of the body. The whole gravity must cross into the earth, Yin Qi. So then the Qi go all the way down the Tan Xian. Okay? So when in Qi Kung, what it does? The chi moves, yeah. Then we learn how to move the chi along the meridians, channels, and collaterals. In Tai Chi, no. In in Chi Kung, in Tai Chi it sinks down. Okay, because we all, we, we song, we relax, we, we sit, we we all, all release the gravity down. So now all our chi will drop down. Okay, that's why sometimes when we we do do that, we find that the lower tension become a bit uh, tense because it's just pushing, pushing, pushing all the time. Okay, but at the same time, when you understand, because when you move, when the, when the chi is singing in tai chi, you are opening the yin and the yang. You are trying to distinguish the body between the yin 
and the yang. Because your body then split. When, when every move we do, and the body starts splitting, and then the, the yin starts to organize itself, and the yang starts to organize itself. Yeah. So then when you understand very deep in your Tai Chi, when you can understand Song properly, and how to connect in heaven and earth properly, your double weightedness is gone, you, you sit 100% empty, then the yin and the yang will come in. Only then it can come in. But when, when you start Tai Chi, it, it doesn't come in. It needs to separate. It needs to go out. So that it needs to un be understood within your body. When it, uh, when, when it understands itself, then it connects. When you can connect your mind, remember, in the lower tension, in here, with heaven, then, then you say, while you move emotions, then stillness comes in, then yin and yang blend in harmony. Yeah, but as long as we can't keep in one, there, there is no harmony. Okay? So in the Qigong, now you learn about how to understand your mind will, your conscious nature, your life force. So, so you're learning how to understand how to get your mind okay, in one. Peaceful, calmness, fun, broadness, clarity. But at the same time, you're learning how to do the cultivations. Yeah, so this is, you're learning two in one at the moment. Yeah, not just mind. Okay, most people are need the separate, like mind is mind, and then if you cultivate, you cultivate. For example, the, the, the book, whether it's Zen, whether it's Chan meditation, they only learn about mind, cultivations. They want to learn to humility, peacefulness, calmness. Tibetan is the same. It's only about mind. That's what they don't breathe really from the lower dancing. Yeah. Okay? They breathe from the diaphragm. Okay? Okay, then they, we, there is two two ways to practice Qigong. Okay? So there's two ways. Okay? There is Dong Gong. Okay? Okay, Dong Gong. Dong Gong is an active one. Okay, it involves movements relating to acupuncture points, channels, and it strengthens the internal organs. Okay, that's Dong Gong. Then we have Jing Qi Gong. Okay, Jing Qi Gong. Okay, Jing Qi Gong. Okay, Jing Qi Gong is a, a passive one. Okay, it's like Yin and Yang. Okay, it consists of any kind of meditations. Yeah. Okay, whether it's sitting, whether you lie lying down on your bed on the floor, or standing. Okay which helps us to cultivate energy and store the chi in the lower tansen. It works on the internal body and clear mind. So for us, what you're learning here, you're learning both. Tong Gong and Jing, Jing Qi Gong. You're learning both at, at the moment, right? Yeah, not, not just one. Okay, next. What is Qigong? People, people always talk about what is Qi. Qi is, for, for Chinese on the medical point of view, is an internal energy. Okay? Energy for us, uh, if we say energy on the, on, the, on the Western side, we call it energy is more about uh, your physical energy. Okay? For, but on the internal side, what we say is the chi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Gong. Gong normally in Chinese uh, translate. If you translate in English, gong mean, mean work. 
so we call it internal work or like my my shifu uh, dr lin is to call it chi work functions okay so how so always when people want to learn about qigong they'll say but when can i feel the qi when when you can feel the qi depends on you always okay it depends on your practice how, how much practice you put and then you will be able to understand and if like i say if your alignment is right if you use the essence the principles okay everything is in order and you practice nicely then you will feel each of us with how we feel will be different we are all unique okay there's only one way we we we, we all all of us teacher will, will say is it's like how you want to feel cheap when you boil water or, or, or you're cooking rice and then when it starts simmering and you, if, and you see that nice thin white smoke come up <coughs> because it's starting to condense now put your hands on top of it and then see what you feel it burns so quick that's cheap <laughs> that's one way we, 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 we can put it yeah okay because remember in the old days the character of chi means rice okay so that's how we still use this concept okay of rice that's how we we found it uh, peculiar where western people doesn't like to eat white rice where we our ancestors all thousands of years grew up in rice but never had ibs where now on the western side oh when i get ibs i eat white rice okay but we believe that the white rice helps your spleen and your stomach because it releases a sweet chemical reactions in the body, rice, and, and then activate the chi of the spleen and the stomach. It actually prevents you from getting ideas or any any problem that you always have. That's why for us we eat white rice anything that we would have a bowl of white rice yeah we, we don't find it for obviously you eat brown rice is too hot right? it harms your colon it's too aggressive on the colon that's why some of my patients they get constipated actually it's yeah fashionably it's nice got anyone eating brown rice but then you will for a while maybe you okay but afterwards it sees your tummy because it as a white rice it activates the chi because remember without chi blood cannot move so then there won't be a proper circulations in the spleen and the stomach chi yeah so that's what we need okay then you digest it then, then you can, can, can go along all, all the time nice Okay? So that's what the sweet taste about. That's what when, according to our diagnosis, if a patient comes to me and say, oh, oh doc, I got a sweet taste of my mom, then I know it's your spleen. You got a problem with your spleen. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's keep a bit of the chi. Yeah, about the chi. Okay. Remember what I said before. Don't try to feel the chi. Don't try to expect when the chi is going to come. Okay? Just work through your training. It will happen. You will know. Okay? Your, your mind gets stronger, your body will get stronger. 